Zuma the Zuma. Uh, hope you have, hope you like the doors. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> there you go, starting a project. So the first thing we did was cut down the plywood to the correct door size. So we are going to put a trim piece on this so we had to take off that 3 quarters inch at the end of it. So make sure you put that in your plans as well. After we were done cutting the plywood, we took one by fives as our border, so we had to measure out the length, and then we went back and measured the width. We used a combination of wood glue, and then we also nailed into the board. We ended up starting to go from the bottom, but then we ended up having to go through the top for a stronger bond. We did the center panels, which were one by fours, and we did five sections here. So we had to do four inner boards, and Michael will explain the math later in this video. Door one, done. Uh, you have to ask Michael about this math because I don't know it. <laughs> so we measured what? The inside door. Yeah. And then what was your so gypsy magic? What we did to get the space in between each board. And I'm not saying this is the best way to do it. This is just the way that we figured out on the fly. So you measure um, your space here. And then you subtract the width of each of these boards. Uh, the, our boards are three and a half inches each. So we took 14 inches out, three and a half for each one. Uh, we were at what, 68 and 7 eighths for the total. Mm -hmm. Subtracted 14 and then divided by, that by five segments, which is okay. what we wanted. And that is how we got equal, um, equal spaces, I guess. Because the okay. first way we did it didn't work. Yeah, no. The last thing we had to do for the doors was to put the trim on the outside. This is so you can't see the difference between the 1x5s and the plywood, just so it looks a little bit more unison. And of course we had to fill in all of the gaps and nail holes to make it look like one surface. And this is the next day and we are building that second door. So I wanted to show you guys exactly what it looks like without 
stopping and doing voiceovers. Once everything dried with the wood putty, we sanded and primed. Once the primer dried, then I took a paintbrush and a roller and painted all of the doors. So I'm down here working on the doors while Ethan takes a nap. He's actually starting to wake up, so I feel like I have to take a break from this. But I did the first door with the flush handle, and I'm gonna show you how I did that part. And it's probably easier for me to explain it while I have it in front of me than to do a voiceover. So, going back to here, so we did the handles in the middle of the door no matter what because this is such a big handle that's okay to do that because i think like a normal door handle would be like center here so we wanted it to be symmetrical with the door so it didn't look nuts i guess you could say so we 
wanted it in the center of the whole entire door. So what I did here is that I found my center of in between these two, um, this like opening right here. So I found my center and then I had to find out where this handle would be on the outside. So I had to find that as well as, um, you know, width wise and length wise. And then I lined this up here. And then I taped on both sides and then I um, took a pencil here and run it around the whole thing. Um, and I know that this is smaller than what I actually need just from experience with that one. So I'm going to start chiseling uh, along this line and then I know I'm going to have to move it out. But this is just a good general base. Always start small and you can always go bigger. It's hard, obviously, when you go too big to go smaller then. So always start small and then you can go bigger. the drill I have drills I have bits I have everything all right good so we want to make it as fast as possible especially with this coronavirus thing which no one in Michael's family or my family has the coronavirus and technically you're allowed to go visit family oh, is that what they said today? well just in general my dad looked it up like a week ago or something like that or two weeks ago but technically you're allowed to go visit family you just can't like go anywhere else but we're still taking the precautions of no hugging no touching like nothing like that not even going to be in the same room type of thing so we're on the way over there and it's raining and i already said that and we had to wrap up both the doors we wrapped both individually with plastic then we put foam in between the two doors and then we put a moving blanket and then we did another plastic around all of it then and we also have the tarp over top on Michael's dump trailer so I think it's pretty well yeah I don't think it's gonna get wet no and we have it padded around the whole entire dump trailer so we're good when it comes to that so we're just praying that it's going to fit <laughs> we did all the measurements so I don't even know why I'm freaking out I think it just it's always it kind of, it's like the pivotal moment right now. I know. Like you put all this hard work in. First off, let's just. Did he just throw up? I think our son just threw up. Um, and I got some snacks for the little man. And I brought my carrier so he can be on my back to help Michael um, install. Because obviously, no touching. Um, what else was I going to say? trying to get it to fit. Oh, what I was gonna say was, I think this is the fastest ever project that we have done. And to start to finish and finished it. Yeah. We definitely take a lot longer to do projects yeah. usually. Yeah, we're not the quickest. No. Sure. Well, I mean, life happens. If we did this full time, I'm sure it wouldn't be that long. But we will catch you guys there. We're gonna call Michael's mom just to let her know we're coming over to install. She doesn't know. She doesn't know anything. She just knows it's going to be installed. She doesn't know when or what they look like. Well, I told Matt we we're going over, so he probably spoke to me. Probably. Why is this not ringing? Hello. Hey, what's up? So we're on our way to your house. <gasps> are you? Yes, we are. Oh my goodness. You have my doors. Yep, they're all done and finished. 
Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to see them. Well, here, here's the deal. You can't see them before they're completely installed. Oh, really? Yep, that's gonna be part of the surprise. Okay, all right, that's, I, I will do whatever I need to do. So where do I have to be? Um, not I don't know, just not in the there. kitchen. Or in the living room, I guess. Just not in the living room or the kitchen. Yeah. Okay. Is, All right. Make sure Matt's around. I don't need his help. Matt's around, right? Yeah, Matthew is around. Okay. Michael said he might need his help. Oh, okay. And Dad's home too. Oh, okay. Um. All right. Cool. So oh we are on our way. All right. Sounds good. We'll see you soon. All right. See you soon. Okay. Bye. bye. For the track, you have to find the center of the doorway, which is what Michael is marking here. And then you line up your track and you draw the circles where you need to drill holes in, um, which you see Michael doing here. And then you can replace the track and then screw it back into the door frame. I did notice that I did not film us putting on the wheels, but just follow the instructions from the um, door manufacturer and you should be able to install them. Close your eyes and walk in. Okay. Pretty nice. All right, go ahead. I'm gonna walk back here and look. Oh my god! Do you love it? They, I do. Yeah, it's awesome. Unbelievable. Right. What, a, what a difference. What a difference. <laughs> oh my god! I still have to put the, the piece up here to hide that, but we have to strip the piece still. So. I don't believe that these are my doors. Yeah, they are, they are short. So we are on our way home now, and you obviously saw her reaction. What do you think, Michael? I think she was pretty happy with it. Very happy. I was pretty happy with it, to be honest. Yeah. I'm sad it's not in my house, but I'm really happy that it came out the way it did. Um, we did have to make a slight few adjustments to it, and I have to do some touch-ups on it, um, just because the doors were banging against each other, so we had to make had some adjustments. We had a problem with the hinges. The front. Yeah, the front hinge was, um, it Probably stuck out too much in the back. So Michael ran to Ace to get a slimmer one so it wouldn't bump in the back. But everything looks good everything now. Everything else worked out nice. Everything else looked out. The doors fit perfectly, the width, the length, yeah, everything. You did a great job designing that part. That I know. <laughs> Anyways, so if you liked today's video, please give it a big thumbs up. Uh, let me know if you guys like home decor stuff or like any projects in general I can include more of them because we do do quite a few um, but anyway so subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and click that bell notification so you're notified every time I post a video and I'll see you guys in my next one bye